this is this is one of it. Uh, this is one of the ideas that we came up with. So hope you guys like it. Thanks guys, thank you so much. Thank you. The song's got untitled new new final final one. Hello, I am here with Disco Hue and they just finished their amazing set over on that stage. Um, how are you guys? We're good, we're good. We're good. Is it your first time performing at Bay Beats? How did you find it? Um, super surreal because you know like Babies has always been the platform for local indie music uh -huh. and bands so um, We've been we going to Babies yeah, since we, we were like been. really young like, Oh wow! Yeah, okay. in secondary school we were already at Babies so it's kind of like a dream oh. for us and to see it come to life is just like a very surreal experience That's amazing! Um, so for those people who aren't too familiar with your music and your sound could you just give like a quick overview of Describe how you uh, your kind of music. Uh, <laughs> we are like a food court, uh. so like we 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 serve many different dishes. Like so, if you want the heavy stuff, we have the heavy stuff. If you want the groovy stuff, we have the groovy stuff. If you want the slow stuff, we have the slow stuff. We serve everything. Okay. So you yeah you should come and watch us more often. Okay. All right. Um. So is that why you guys are named Disco Hue? Uh, because yeah different shades of yeah yeah so yeah. basically um, the word disco because we we wanted to marry um, music and 
like visual arts together. Mm -hmm. So disco represents the music side, and the hue represents the art side, the colors, and, and all that. So um, disco basically means like dance music, and then hue is actually different shades of like color. <laughs> yeah. So hue is like different div a spectrum of color. So when you put them together, right, it's like a spectrum of dance music put together. Yeah. Okay, very, very cool. Um, so how did you guys meet as a band? I mean, you're a pretty new band, but how did it all come together? We all met on Tinder. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. He was on Grindr last time. <laughs> 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 I'm kidding, I'm kidding. Um, yeah, four years ago, me and my close friend Christina, we wanted to form this band. So we formed the band and then um, I entered Poly. So I, I got into SP, uh, Music and Audio Technology. So basically, like the, there are a bunch of like producers, musicians, you know, like a bunch of like students um, in that course. Mm -hmm. And then that's where I met uh, Billy, who is my junior. And then when Billy was inside, he roped in Rush. He was their class, like their classmates, and I was their senior. So um, basically, the band formed like that. And then a um, few years down, uh, Christina had to go, had to leave the band because you know commitment and everything. Mm -hmm. um, so I, we were looking for a singer. Uh, I was on Twitter, yeah, I was quite active on Twitter back then because I was looking for singer like, wow, Jalak cannot find singer. <laughs> so I was on Twitter. Then um, they had this thing called SG Vines. <laughs> okay. So SG Vines was... was uh, yeah, Vine is like this app where you can post <laughs> six second videos. So I used to do like those really short like Vine covers of like pop songs and all that. So I guess like one of like this, this Twitter account shared my video oh, wow. and that's how they found me. Yeah, that's <laughs> how, so I, I Vine messaged her, like, the weirdest thing you can ever do. No, that's very, that's very cool. Vine is a lot better than Tinder, so <laughs> I think you guys better are alright. Better reasoning. Right. <laughs> you guys are alright on that. So, since you guys became a band, you've toured here in Singapore, yes? Um, are you planning on performing in the region? Are you planning on traveling to other places to tour? Okay, so uh, basically... We were waiting for the, the EP to release. Once the EP is released, um, we, we were able to send our EP over to, to various countries. So right now, our EP is selling in Japan. Okay. So in August, we are heading to Japan for our solo launch over there. Okay, yeah. cool. That's r really amazing. Um, so I always ask music fans this question because I feel like it gives the audience a good vibe of uh, the kind of music you guys listen to. So what do you guys listen to? I listen to like pop stuff. Pop stuff, like, is really it? Really pop stuff, like Backstreet Boys, <laughs> like, Duty Pledges, like, is, like, even Carly Rae Jepsen. Oh, yeah. Carly Rae Jepsen, she's, yes. she's a great singer. She's good. Right. Yeah. The newest album is damn good. Any so. influences from her on your, on yeah, your music? A bit, yeah, a bit. all that, I think. All that, all that yeah. yeah. The newest album. The newest oh, album, yeah. Oh, okay. We had inspiration from the album. Uh, Billy? I actually listen to a lot of jazz. <laughs> and I listen, I listen to Super Psych a lot. And I listen yes, to, and on top of that, I listen to um the generally the heavier stuff lah. I'm an angry guy. Okay, <laughs> okay, fair. And you as a vocalist, or no? um, kind of same as Rush. Like, like I like a lot of pop music, mm -hmm. so like Ariana Grande, Sam Smith. Okay. Yeah, I really like those like very powerful vocals. Has anyone ever told you you sound like Jess Glynn? No, my oh, that is such a compliment. Oh, yes, I th when I first heard your music, I actually, I, I said, I thought that you sounded a lot like Jess Glynn. Um, all right.